Big up the one and only John Geiger. As I mentioned to you previously, I've got a pair of the John Geiger 004s, the black and white ones, even though they're a pinch, pinch a size too small. I probably should have gone for the US, 11, the US 12 instead of the US 11. I keep thinking I'm a US 11, but I'm not really. For some reason, my feet have kind of grown in length. So I'm actually a US 12 now, which is fucking annoying because for a long time, I loved how I was always a US 11. Sometimes I'd be a US 10.5, 10, 10. but I'm not anymore. So they are a bit small, but obviously I did the whole insole trick and removed the insole. I've been wearing them a bunch and now they've obviously stretched out a bit, but obviously a US 11 will probably be perfect. But that aside... I love them as a shoe. I love the John Geiger 004s as a shoe. I legitimately think they have, if anything, re reinvigorated the debate around Sneaker of the Year because now I'm seeing people have a bit more nuanced opinions about Sneaker of the Year because I felt like the Sneaker of the Year debate was always centered around like what was the most hype shoe? Who had the most hype shoe drop? What was the most limited? What had the most crazy colorways? It's like, no, no, no. Sneaker of the Year, I think, should be, if I was being really strict, I don't think Sneaker of the Year sh could be a retro, personally. I don't think you're allowed to have a retro. If, you, if you're allowed to have a retro, it has to be an exception, a real exception. But I think for the most part, Sneakers of the Year should be a somewhat new model so that people can maybe challenge themselves to push to, you know, wear different stuff and, you know, push different brands and just kind of bring new life into the, into the fucking sneaker game. Because if it's only going to be retros, then we all know there's like five to ten retros that we all like. So if they do good colorways in the shoes that we all like, more than likely the same shoes are going to be sneak of the year every single year. I want to see new shit. And now that we have got, we haven't got Kanye anymore because Kanye fucking self imploded and went on a fucking anti semite fucking promo tour. But now we don't have Ye Yeezy anymore. We're kind of devoid of those new silhouettes because we kind of took it for granted. I know, I know, I did. I took Adidas Yeezy, uh, Adidas fucking for granted because at least we were getting new silhouettes. We were getting new shapes, new fucking presentations and ideas and, you know, and force behind footwear and what it would look like and limited edition and drops and blah, blah, blah. But now we don't get that anymore. Everything's a retro. So God bless John Geiger for also not deciding to go super ham because I wasn't really the biggest fan of the John Geiger. I think it's 001, the ones that look at Air Force Ones. But now he's shown that obviously my man has proper design chops because to make this from scratch to make this from the ground up and it to be like a proper contender for sneaker of the year so much so that many people especially on my sneaker twitter who are proper opinionated and have a lot of thoughts and opinions and stuff and are really hard to please they're all kind of pining and saying hey this shoe's fucking hard so i'm a fucking big fan of it but i've also been wondering what's he gonna do in terms of mixing up the you know the colorways and the approach and shit and let's just just say he's been cooking because these two that we've seen so far, these two collaborate, uh, these two colorways that he's put on his, um, in or sorry, on his Twitter are fucking incredible. They look like essentially, they look like a dip dyed or like a tie dyed or like a sun bleached sort of effect. You have the color gradient sort of like going from light all the way to dark from the back. So on the pair on the left, you have it going from like a white tip here at the front all the way into a light blue, all the way into a royal blue at the back. If I was being a little bit nitpicky, even though I think this toe guard thing at the front is the signature, I'd probably like that to be tonal, just to kind of tie it in with the color, right? If it's white, just make it tonal. But regardless, doesn't matter. The whole colorway of it is fucking stupendous. And if anything, it almost kind of looks like a jelly sandal. You know that those gel sandals that girls are wearing nowadays? I think they were really popular back in the day in the 2000s, but I know a lot of Indian girls wear them as well, right? Those jelly sandals. That's what they kind of remind me a little bit. They kind of remind me of these jelly sandals. I'm not sure if you guys remember these. They've become back in trend now as well. Everyone's fucking wearing these jelly sandals. But they kind of look a little bit like that. That kind of colorway. So I'm really fucking infused and impressed by it. And I think actually Doro. Yeah, Doro made these as well, didn't they? Doro made their version of a jelly sandal also. That's been doing absolute numbers on fucking fashion, social media. So I really do like what he's done with that particular colorway. Because you've got that almost like a jelly type of effect going on there. Um, without them obviously being jelly and it almost being most of a color gradient. The pop on the yellow here. This looks like more of like a... I'm sure... The, I think this is an M NBA thing if I'm not mistaken. This looks more like NBA colors. Again, I'm not really familiar with NBA. I'm from England. I watch fucking football. But still, the colorways are fucking great. you got blue. you got this green colorway. Um, both fucking hard as fuck. That yellow strip on the blues looks fucking incredible. The yellow little accents here on the side of the panels look fucking great as well. And again, as you can tell here, you could look at look at that little translucent bit there. Look at attention to detail. Look at that attention to detail. You got the blue. You got how it's a bit dark here towards the back. And then because this tip sticks out, I'm guessing just because it's translucent, 
it kind of makes it look like he's purposely made this bit a little bit lighter to coincide with the lining and how it sticks out but i'm most likely it's just because it's translucent but it is a nice little attention to detail i'm not gonna lie and obviously see them lying on the side there with their incredible soul which again reminds me of the that's why i've been enjoying wearing them in a silhouette because i did realize that they do kind of kind of kind of kind of kind of remind me of the adidas nmd is it N nmd nmd r1s do you remember those these were super popular for a while. I had about three pairs of these that wore into the ground. So I think for whatever reason, these kind of the JF, the JF 004s kind of remind me of these Adidas NMD R1s that came out a while ago that were really popular. I remember I fucking beat mine into the ground. They had a sock upper. They were a little bit wild for my foot because my toes were splaying all over the place. But I fucking loved mine. They were some of the best walking shoes ever. I swear to God. These, these and maybe the Nike Freeze. Was it? Is it Nike Free 5.0 something like that? These these might have been some of the best walking shoes I've ever had. Some of the best walking shoes I've ever had. These Nike Freeze, like so fucking good. Like you wear these on a fucking trip, you know, holiday somewhere. You these are you you wear them all day long, all day fucking long, all weekend long. I fucking love these so 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 fucking much. So big up John Geiger for restoring the feeling and making shoes that look limited edition. They look hard to buy. They look hard to find. But they're also incredibly wearable. Like I've, I've I've tried very hard not to wear mine all the time. I go out, especially I step out to go to do grocery shopping and stuff. But it's easy to wear. And to be fair, to be really fair, I think even though I've got a lot of really rare, limited, cool sneakers. The JF zero zero ones that I have, they might be the only shoes in recent years that I've actually seen regular people breaking their necks to look at. Honestly, like I'm walking down the street, people in cars will be like looking at my feet and shit. And usually. I think because everybody's everybody's knows what a limited edition shoe looks like now. Sneaker culture and being a sneakerhead isn't as like a it's not as like exclusive as it once was. I think everyone knows what a limited edition shoe looks like. They know what a Yeezy looks like, a Dunk looks like. It's not that big anymore. So when people see a, a somewhat newer shape, something they haven't seen before, it they, it does catch their attention. So these are the only shoes I've seen regular people actually look at me at. That's like, really odd. These and the obviously the Tom Sachs Mars Yards were the only shoes that regular people would actually fucking look at. But I think everything else in my collection, everyone's like, you know what? We don't fucking give a shit. But I think the Tom Sachs Mars Yards, the fucking, you know, John Geiger 004s, so definitely in great, comp in great company. So um, no idea on the release date so far. What did he say on his tweet here exactly in the caption? He said NBA 004 season approaching Lakers v. Wolves. So I guess mo maybe this will this will tie into the championship thing. I'm not too sure on release date, but I guess we'll find out. He is quite good at letting people know about the dates and shit. So I'm looking forward to when they will eventually come out because these are fucking hard. So big up John Geiger. Really, really cool shoes. I fucking love what he's doing. I fucking love what he's doing.